So let's try to complete this form. Okay. But before I will start making the videos, please make sure to subscribe the channel, like the video and share the video. It will highly motivate me to make videos very fast. Okay. Because right now I'm putting lots of effort and if I will not get a view, it, it is kind of demotivation for me. Okay. So yeah, let's uh, try to work on the first uh, app bar. Then uh, we will work on this. To work on app bar, what we need to do that in a scaffold we have the app bar. Let me use the app bar. If I will hit the save, then app bar will going to be added. But you can see that the color is not really good. I mean, we need to use a background color white. So colors dot white, and we have to put the elevation also to zero. Now it seems to be good. Let's add a title. So the title will going to be a text widget, and in the text widget, what it will be, it has to complete your sign up. Complete your sign up. Let me the save and let's go on a style text style and in a text style what it will be it should have a color color start black then it should have a font size around 16 and it should have a font weight as well around font weight dot 700 let's see how it will look okay let me reduce the font size to 600 and let me increase to 18 that seems to looking good and uh, right now it's center title true but uh, yeah let me put a cons as well to remove the linting and what will be the next step the next step will going to be add a leading leading will going to be icon button and uh, i will handle on press later okay but the icon will going to be a uh, icon start back uh, ios forward icon start arrow back and we have to add a color as well so color will going to be color dot black so that is game okay let me put a const as well so that is also game the only thing is that we should center title to false okay now it is good the only thing we need to do is we need to add a padding between this and this so we can add a vertical padding around 15 okay now we have the vertical padding and the next step will going to be this this thing okay so what we can do that we can put the code of the this part here only because it is purely dedicated to the register form page only so just after this column the first children i'm going to create a row okay so because you can think that this is a, as a row the first children of the row is this and the second children of the row is this and the first children of the row will going to be again a column okay so let's do it so let's use a children the first children will going to be a column in the column children the first thing will going to be a text text the text will going to be a mobile number and the second thing will going to be a text we will come later how we will populate the number which we added over there one two three four five six seven eight okay so here it came 
column have the main axis alignment for this case it should be a cross axis alignment i guess and the cross axis alignment center not center it will be a star okay and now we need to put a padding between the this row children and the text form fuel so let me add that thing too we will come on a styling part later but the second children of the row will going to be a icon we can use the icons dot checkbox okay and uh, it should be circular right if i will wrap this thing into another widget call circle or tar and instead of the checkbox if i will use the check and if i will put the radius to around 13 or 12 i guess and size of the 20 or 16 i guess and the background color of the circle or tar put colors dot till then it will look familiar yeah and let me put a cons over here and uh, let's use a main axis alignment of the row main axis alignment is space between that's great yeah also let me increase the horizontal padding to 20 or 25 okay now let's come to this styling of the text part so the mobile number will going to be a small so style text style font size will going to be around 12 and color will going to be a app color dot subtitle color we already have i guess or caption color we have so this one so the mobile number we can decrease also so if it is not visible then let me do it like this because it's it's really small the mobile number it's really small in a ui so i'm just using the mobile number and uh, the i need to add some size box between this height will going to be around 8 not 8 it will be 3 i guess so mobile number is added the next thing will going to be this it will be text right now we have okay so i guess it is good for me only the color is not making sense text style color will going to be colors dot black 87 okay let's use a const and now we can work on this part this part is left to complete this uh, uh, sign up form layout so i'm going to make a new folder inside it gender button because the same kind of ui we need to use in our profile page also i mean update profile page also so i'm going to put it here let's create let me import the material dot dart package first 
let's create a stateless widget gender button will be the name and what do we think how we will implement it either we can implement it via the to ink well so like this so i am just going to use a container only in a container let's add a decoration box decoration key boxed box decoration in a box decoration let's go on a border and in the border let's add a border of border dot all will be good for here dot all width will going to be a one i'm going to hit the save first and let me go on a in a register form and where we have to use it just after the email so just after the email optional let me use it okay i will put const that came here i know it's not looking as expected as of now let's try the height height will going to be around 60 or it will be a 40 50 also work <laughs> yeah height will going to be 50 and we need to add some padding as well so let me add a padding between those two okay also we need to have the border color as we have for our text form fill so here we have the border color i wanted to use the same border color for our gender button so let's add the color hit the save and now it is having the same kind of color which all the form fill have now in the container we have the child property right so in the child property let's go over here let's use a row okay so i'm going to use a row why i'm using a row because we have a two kind of uh, button over here okay so let me add a children of the row um the first children will going to be a container let me create first children okay and this container how i need to wrap it with another widget called flexible and uh, flexible have the uh, flex one and uh, in the container let's go and let's add a child of the container which will going to be a text okay let's put a text uh, female okay and uh, if i will wrap this text with the center let me wrap it with the center it it came into the center right now the logic i'm going to use is i will going to add another flexible because i wanted to divide it into the two part that's why i'm using two flexible and with help of the flexible if i will put the flex one and flex one so it will divide a row into the two separate part okay and uh, half of part okay so it is divided the whole row into the half of part and uh, due to we are using the container and container got the half part half, half size of the row okay and the half size row is like till here and when i put the text inside the center it came into the center of the half part of the row okay that's why we did the same thing over here and let me change the name okay over here and now we need to add one thing that is a divider let's go over there and let's add a vertical divider okay so we have a vertical divider as well which will need a width I will going to provide a width to also it have the color what will be the color color will going to be color stored gray 
maybe it does save yeah it came let me increase the width to four but as of now it is not clickable so let me wrap this container with another widget called ink whale okay and let's put a on tap over there on tap as of now we will not do anything i'm just setting up uh, let's click here print female also let's wrap this ink well i mean this container to another ink well so might be this is is a not a good solution but yeah i came up with this as of now if you have another solution please provide me on the on the comment section so i will improve my coding as well so for me it is a kind of implementation i did for this button so if i will click here then that will working okay if i will click here then that is also working which means we are pretty much good to go i know that we haven't added this thing this sort of thing and uh, this one but that is really not important for us we have to complete the sign up process first then we will think about other points but yeah first thing is let's complete the sign up process so we can start working on the real app okay so yeah sort of the ui is made now we have to work on the controller and the rest api call and we will do that thing in a next video we will going to make a rest api call and we will going to set up a controller for this register form page okay till that please don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video share the video to your friend it will highly motivate me to make more videos okay see you on the next video